God day, gods and goddesses. I am Elegant Soul Food, the Consecrated Nature Baby. Welcome to the um, Pick 4 Energy Reading, where you're going to pick between numbers 1, 2, 3, or 4. Whichever one of those numbers resonate with you does not mean that there is not something for you in all four of these messages it just means that that might be one that's most important for you to focus on keep in mind your truth your story and your message matters so take that into consideration as we go through this today we're talking about low down freaks talking about low down freaks and good freaks united so for those of you that chose number one, bad freaks or low down freaks, they find the bad in everything. Mama used to say, go with your first mind, meaning get your mind right. Is your first response important? Yes, it is. Is your first response toxic positivity? Is your first response faking it? Toxic positivity means Dismissing emotions and responding to distress with false reassurances rather than empathy. Well-intended fake concern, denial of reality to minimize or invalidate the authentic human experience. So something that low vibrational, low down freaks do, freaks, F-R-E-A-K-S, they blame. They use emotional blackmailing. They um, criticize. They shame people. They have an outward appearance that is um, representing fake perceptions, meaning that they use the word I a lot. You know, they find the bad in everything and they use I as an example of the answer or I as a uh, distraction from the actual problem or the actual issue. So what do good freaks do? Good freaks use their discernment and that way they can uh, go with their first mind. They use discernment and they trust God. They trust the God within them. So their first mind is higher, is godly and for the greater good of all. It's an exercise like any other workout. You use it or lose it. When you use your good frequency, you focus on, this is teaching me a new experience. I'm responsible. This is an opportunity for me. I'm grateful for this. I never compete with others because competition is evil. Everybody's got a little light under the sun and they need to shine and maximize their energy and for the greater good and use their good frequency just like everybody else should. Okay, number two. Low down freaks look for frequencies to hurt themselves or others. They look for frequencies or they look for things to hurt themselves or others. They can't see for looking. There's a song that goes, you can't. You can't, you can't see for looking. They focus on what hurts them in the past, what hurt them right now. So because of the hurt in the past and the hurt right now, that's going to be hurt in the future. So they can only focus on that. They'll start a debate to prove the hurt wins in every scenario. They point out the lower perspective on everything. Anything is good is reduced to a coincidence or a one-off or finally, but, and then they're going to throw all of these other scenarios at you of hurtful things. What do good freaks do? Freaks, F-R-E-Q-S. They focus on the good, but they don't use toxic positivity to do it. They say things like, you know, it's okay to feel bad sometimes. It's hard to see the good in this right now, but we'll make sense of it when we can. You know, failure is part of growth. Um, things are tough now, but you know, I'm here for you. 
let's uh, reset. Let's let this situation breathe. Let's let's cut the energy with something neutral or with something positive. Let's go do some stretches. Let's go do some yoga. Let's go uh, read. Let's go sit in nature. Let's go for a walk. Let's go meditate. Those are the things that good freaks do. Number three. So for those of you that chose number three, uh, low down freaks, F R E Q S. They use their powers or gifts or talents for bad frequency. They can't walk it like they talk it. Um, they have a stagnant lifestyle. They have stuck energy. They say things uh, the right way, but it's just words because they repeat the same lessons over and over. Their calling and life purpose never gets off the ground. They're chaos addicts. So a good example of people using their, their talents for bad frequency, instead of being a business investor or having your own business, they, uh, uh, they're drug dealers. Instead of being a life coach or a mentor, they gossip and they instigate and get stuff started and always looking for some chaos to spread around like three car Molly. Um, Instead of being a social influencer, or a writer, or a journalist, they are social um, media agitators, and they start fights on social media. That's their uh, outlet to use their powers for bad. Good freaks, on the other hand, are studious. They read a lot. They journal. They're into self-help and self-empowerment. They look for new adventures and experiences. They love change. Change excites them instead of, you know, saying, what's in this for me? They're saying, God, universe, what are you teaching me? How can I help someone with this new experience and new knowledge? Okay, almost done, y'all. Number four, bad freaks and low down freaks, they waste time, which consequently waste money. Waste of currency equal waste of energy and money. Currents, that's energy. Currency, the energy of physical money. All is nothing in action. So, it, they're frivolous. Frivolous means not having any serious purpose or value. They are silly. Anybody that knows me knows that I find much offense to the word silly. You know, my children are adults now, but when they were small, I wouldn't allow their teachers to call them silly. I would say, no, he's not silly. You don't call him silly. You don't call her silly. I would tell them, if somebody calls you silly, you let me know. And then as they go, I'm like, you correct them if they call you silly. You let them know my life has purpose. My life has value. I'm not silly. My thoughts are not silly and nothing about me is silly or stupid. So, good friends. They, um, Call attention to detail. They're serious and they're practical. They're considerate of others' feelings. They're considerate of others' time. And they're considerate of money. They have self-respect and self-worth. Um, that's considered, you know, what will this cost me? That's what they look at in any situation. And they're careful not to cause inconvenience or hurt to others. And they ask questions like, is there love in this action? Is there love in this energy? Is there love in this movement that I'm a part of? Right. Now let's check the energy around this. Around those four. So we're going to start with the goddess deck. What's the energy? What's the energy for this reading? For good freaks. Good freaks united. <laughs> miracles miracles the number 42 which reduces to the number 6 which is balance between earth and spirit harmony communication 
love healing service. Very appropriate. So let's read what miracles has to say for this goddess, for the goddess energy. And the goddess is um, subjective. If you're a guy watching this, then it's God energy. Okay, this is the Haitian goddess of miracles. She's a high priestess. Uh, she's a mamba. And um, she is the queen of market riches and sacred initiations. Respect her as a highly venerated spirit of first priestess, of the first priestess. You are a magnet for miracles. You are a miracle. What you truly allow yourself to believe. All things are possible. Dare to dream bigger. You claim to want miracles, but you take an I'll believe it when I see it approach. What if you see it after you believe it? Believe that you deserve to be, do, and have the world that you want. You can be true to yourself. Do what awakens your soul and have the desires. If you have it witness your miracle today. Ask for it to allow in. And your declaration is my life is full of miracles. So how does that tie into what we just uh, did for uh, good freaks? Is that I declare that they are good miracles. Bringing meaning to my behaviors. What do we need to do on this journey? What do we need to do on this journey? What do we need to do on this journey? Boom. The Alchemo Artist. Okay, and the number here is 10. The Alchemo Artist. And the number here is 10. So 10, uh, the meaning is completeness, wholeness, and integration. So let's see, what, what do we need to do on this journey? Attributes, creativity, artistry, new combinations, transcendence, transcendence, <laughs> greater self. You may know the alchemy, the science of transmutation, from ancient efforts to turn lead into gold. But there's another greater purpose. Transform your small self into your greater self. The alchemical artist stands ready to transform the ordinary into the extraordinary, creating art from new combinations of what's in front of you. The artist's purpose is to bring beauty, truth, and new ideas to their creation. You are ultimate, you are the ultimate creation, ready to evolve as both artist and creation. You can become the alchemical artist. Potential questions to ask this archetype. This is um, different from other cosmic questions and answers. Don't use words. Rather than writing your answers, draw pictures using your dominant or non-dominant hand or try both. What is my own unique art? Why haven't I put my greatest art out yet? Which form of creative expression is something I can consider going back to or adding into my life? What can I continue um, to alchemy into my greater self? What relationship gifts and learnings from my own base material are now ready to transform into something more? So how that tied into the reading, um, the messages before, you know, how can you be your greater self? How can you continue to be your greater self? Um, what relationship gifts and learnings from my own material base are now ready to transform into something else? So that ties definitely into the reading. And um, just to reiterate from the goddess card, how it ties into we are, you know, all things are possible. We dare to dream bigger, you know. We're, miracles happen every day. Believe that you deserve to do, deserve to be, deserve to have the world that you want. So we want to have a higher frequency in this world. So what's the money message for this money Monday? Money Monday. 
Let's see how I'm doing it in the sunshine today. Ah, I love it. First day of spring. What's the money message we need to have for this money Monday? What's the money message we need to have? What is the knowledge? So we have the energy. We have what do we need to do on the journey? And then we have financial literacy. Okay. Stock, a.k.a. shares. Can you see that? Stock, a.k.a. shares. A stock or a share represents the ownership of a single piece of a company. How can owning stocks earn you money? Companies may regularly pay out some cash for each stock you own, a dividend, and or reinvest profits back into the business, hopefully making each stock more valuable. The prices of publicly traded stocks move freely based on supply and demand and therefore can be of higher risk or higher and or higher return you know things are really volatile right now um as i've told you i'm gonna have some financial advisors come on and speak with you guys people that are cpas and do this stuff for a living um again i'm here to show you what i've learned not to tell you what to do but just what i've learned um, i have invested in stocks for gosh 30 something years now i've uh, been off and on in and out for various reasons and um, times are really volatile right now. I, I want to find somebody that can talk to uh, all of us about the guns and the butters. If you all remember that movie from Baby Boy, um, when it comes to the stock market, the guns versus the butters, um, the things that are um, long-term versus the things that are short-term. So, you know, one analyst will say that cryptocurrency is butter because that's uh, a trend but uh, the guns would actually be invested in weapons and bullets and ammunition as one example but we'll continue that at another time thank you i hope you enjoyed this pick four i hope it was something in it for you and as always i love you and i'll see you real soon